bug that we thought we never have to worry about called Staph aureus, and there's a multiple resistant Staph aureus, and a child just reported in Texas just died from it. How can that be? Well, unfortunately, MRSA, MRSA as we call it, has actually been around for quite a while. Uh, there are a number of communities, and actually there's a number of communities in Texas, where the proportion of resistant organisms, or MRSA, in the community are over 60%. Um, so this is not a new phenomenon. Uh, not only is it not a new phenomenon, but we also know that, yes, it's in hospitals, but it's, it's more importantly, it's in the community, so that many of the staff that comes into the hospital is actually coming from the community and not a, res a result of it being developed in the hospital itself. So it's a mixture. Um, but the word multiple resistance, what does that mean, resistance? Well, normally in the very beginning, staph was very sensitive to penicillin. It then became resistant to penicillin, and we developed a more sophisticated type of penicillin that would be effective against it. Now we're finding that even those more sophisticated penicillins are not effective, uh, as effective as they were against this particular staph. So it's very, very serious. We do have antibiotics to treat it. They're just not the usual kind. We have to sort of step it up to a more sophisticated type of antibiotic. The concern is that the next step of resistance could be resistant to everything we have and then we're in very deep trouble. So it's a very important worry on the horizon for all of us. But it's been here for a while. This is unfortunately not new.